folks, for Fox sake, we are up to season four, episode five of the Duck Chronicles, and we are outside. So there's a little bit of side noise. I tried to wait till the neighbors stopped mowing their lawn, and then the other neighbors started mowing their lawn. I tried to wait till airplanes stopped flying overhead, but it seems like they know when I'm videoing, so we'll just accept that there'll be some background noise here. Not a real long episode today. Don't have a bunch of questions to answer or anything like the last episode. But I figured y'all would like to see everybody's first ventures outside. They got a bug they're running there and everybody's after it. And uh, wanted to get them out earlier, but we had rain, we had a power outage, and it got kind of cold. I didn't bring them out here until uh, just a few minutes ago because it was, uh, it was chilly this morning in the 50s. Uh, but the sun's out now, it's getting nice and warm. And uh, they're in the old chicken duck quail tractor. This, this thing's had a lot of missions. I don't know how many more it's got left in it, but it's got more than one, that's for sure. Um, real simple construction, just hardware cloth. And eventually I put those wheels on it to make it easier to move. But uh, they will not spend the night out here. Um, they'll have to have some feathers coming in at least before I'm comfortable letting them spend the night out, especially now that we've gotten into late September, early October. You know, this is the time of year where we do get some nights down in the 50s or even the 40s. We hadn't had it till just recently, but it could be any time now. So I'm not comfortable with them being left out. And if I did leave them out, what I would do is I would mount a heat lamp or two, because two is one and one is none for them, so that they would have a source of heat. Uh, but since there's only 10 of them, it's real easy to just pick them up, put them in their transportation tub, and bring them back in the house at night. It doesn't take but a couple minutes to do getting them out of there this thing only opens on one end uh, with modifications I've made over time so getting out of there it'd be difficult except all I do is I just lift it over they, they don't run that fast yet and they they kind of like me so I just turn it upside down and uh, just catch them real quick and and bring them back by the time they can get away really easily and it's a problem um, it won't matter because they'll just stay outside and then pretty soon they'll start having free range time and they'll be in their holding area and we'll be back to it being a lot less work for me and a lot more fun for them. But uh, right now they're kind of little and without a mom to look after them, I don't trust Fox and Dana. They've already been out sniffing around here. Um, since it's been a while since they've been around ducks, they might get the hose a couple times when they nose around them a little bit just for some reinforcement training. But uh, as you can see, everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, you notice one thing, see how the water is? The water's far enough that when they're drinking water, their butts are not over their food. That helps to keep poo out of the food. A lot of times when they're drinking, they, they drop right while they're drinking uh, and vice versa. So I made sure there's enough of gap there. I did make sure their food is where they'll be shaded. Um, if you look, I got this uh, moving blanket up here. And uh, I, I, the only reason I have it rolled up right now is so that there's a little bit better lighting and y'all can see the ducks. It'll end up covering the top, this side, and this side. Uh, since the sun's already pretty high in the sky, there's not really any sun coming in from the east. So by covering the southwest and the top, uh, this side will have shade all day long. So they'll have their choice. They can go out and sit in the sun or they can come back and sit in the shade and they won't have to go in the sun to get their food and that'll keep their water cool. You notice they got two water containers there? That's because if they run out of food, it's not a huge hairy deal while I'm working during the day. If I don't come out here and notice it and they have to go a little while, I don't want them going without water at all. Pretty soon they'll have the little dishes that we use that hold a lot more water they can swim in. I'm not ready to let them swim yet. I'm not convinced that they are educated enough in preening and take care of themselves yet. Uh, we'll probably swim them the first time very, very soon, probably in a bathtub with warm water, and I'll go straight into a dry, warm brooder. Uh, then everybody will learn to preen, and then once that happens, I have no problem letting them out here. Uh, little ducklings with mothers to take care of them, they're doing that stuff on day one, and that's fine when they got mama duck, but unlike mama duck, I'm not there 24 seven. So uh, we, uh, we just kind of take things slowly and uh, they'll have plenty of time to get wet for the rest of their ducky lives. Well, that's it. There we go. A little bit of a look at the duck tractor. And happy ducks. Episode five concluded. And we will catch up with you later.